Hallelujah. Glory to God. Shalom, children of God. I welcome you once more in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a beautiful day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for today. We give you the glory. We celebrate your holy name. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you, O Lord, for fighting our unseen battles. We come before you today, O Lord, for we all know we are sinners and we have sinned against you and come short of your glory. We ask for forgiveness of sins in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your children on the other side of the screen that decided to click on this video whatever their prayer point is i pray may you grant their heart desires in the mighty name of jesus i pray may you stretch your hand of favor upon them your hands of blessing upon them and your healing hands upon them in jesus mighty name amen I am here to share a very quick prophetic word with you. It is not for everybody. Always make sure you take it to the Lord in prayers and for confirmation. This person did this to you on purpose. God says, this person did this to you on purpose. Now they might be pretending that they did not know what happened or they did not do it intentionally, but they did it on purpose and they are pretending. The Lord says it is okay for you to forgive this person and forget about it, but you have to be very careful when it comes to considering taking them back as your friends. You have to be very careful when it comes to you bringing them closer back because the next time they have another given opportunity, they are going to do something terrible to you. This is your confirmation. I don't know what this person did to you. I don't know what this person caused you, but they did it intentionally. They come to you and they have asked for forgiveness. They told you they did not know what happened or why they did what they did to you. But they are pretending because whatever they did to you was intentional. This is your confirmation. Now, before considering taking them back to your life, you have to pray to God. Ask him for direction. The Lord wants you to forgive and forget. But you have to think twice before bringing these people back to your life. For they do not have good intentions towards you. I pray for wisdom. I pray for understanding. I pray, I pray for clarity in the mighty name of jesus whoever has done something bad to you whoever has hurt you and they have come to you and asked for forgiveness forgive them but you have to be very careful about hanging out with them anymore you have to be very careful when doing things around them you have to keep your distance growing up i heard this saying that if you want to eat with somebody that hurt you the first time use a long spoon Eat with them from a distance. Keep your distance. Forgive them. Don't bear any grudges. And God will take care of the rest. I pray may this world fall upon you as a sign of confirmation and clarity in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to rush to the comment section. Say thank you, faithful God. It is very important. Just type thank you, faithful God. Give this video a thumbs up. Turn on your notification so whenever I post, you will be the first to know. If you haven't already joined our amazing family, please do so by hitting that subscribe button. Join us, please. Share to somebody that you think might need this word. That is another form of evangelizing. And I will see you next time. Always remain blessed and prayerful. Bye-bye.